for Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with part two of my quarter two makeup empties. If you missed it, I will have linked down below part one. It is skincare, hair care, nail care, all of that good stuff. I like to separate the videos because some people like that stuff, and some people only like makeup. And I want to keep the video just a little bit shorter. So, anyways, that video will be linked down below. But otherwise, we're just going to jump into the makeup that I have used up in the last three months, and it's an okay amount. Um, I thought I would have used some more. It's just in another Target bag. Um, but I wanted to tell you I am totaling up the amount of makeup I used. I'm not doing it for the body care, but for makeup. So from quarter one, I did not tally it in that video, but I wanted to tell you what it was. Okay. I had to go to my little notepad. For one, I finished $141.95 worth of makeup. What? Granted, I did the actual value of the products and not the sale price or it was in a kit, so it was discounted. That's just if I went out and repurchased those items, that's how much I would spend. Um, I am going to tally up at the end of the video. I'll just have it down below how much I used from this corner, but... Oh, hey, I'll see you. I'll see you. As usual, I do a rating scale in my empties. Zero being awful. Don't even bother. I hated it. Because if I hate it, you should hate it, right? Anyways, five being meh. I could go either way. It was okay. It wasn't great. Ten being holy grail. Already repurchased it. I'm still using it. That kind of thing. So, let's jump in. All right, here we go. Item number one, L'Oreal Ma L'Oreal <laughs> Magic Lumi. This is a five. So I finished this in my recent project pan. When I did not use it every day, I loved it. It was just glowy, perfect, whatever. But when I used it every day to finish it for that project, it broke me out so bad. And like, but it was like under the skin bumps and I think it's because it's so oily that it just sits on the skin and blocks the pores. Because of that I'm not going to run out and probably ever get it again but it is nice and if I had it somehow in my possession I would use it again. I'm just not going to go out and buy it again. So that's product number one. Let's talk about some holy gray hills number tens. First up we have Urban Decay. This is the all nighter makeup spray long lasting. Love it, love it, love it repurchased, using it, have it on today, love it. Um, I usually wait till summertime when Urban Decay does a two-pack, um, and then they do their 20% off friends and family deal. Then I can get two for the price of one. They're normally $30 each, but I can get two full size for $30 during the summer, so I went ahead and grabbed that deal again. I got it last year as well. So this is what the bottle looks like. It has two caps, just like... And then my makeup is set, looking right. Does not move for the rest of the day. So love it. It's a 10. Mm. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Next up is Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the glitter one. They have a matte one. This is a 10. I did repurchase a full size. Well, this was a deluxe size that came in Ipsy. So I went out and bought the full size. It's $30, but I hit it on a sale and had some Ulta money. So I ended up spending like 30 I think I spent 15 on it so I wasn't mad about it um absolutely love it I have it on today as well just natural adds a slight contour Whew. I love it so much all right here we have Maybelline dream matte wander powder this one is in classic ivory 20 I adored this um it's just so flawless on the skin like it's just perfect and it can it says powder but you can use it as a foundation i feel like it builds up enough um but more i guess a light coverage um but it also sets everything really well my only complaint is it's there's not a lot of product in here there is 0.19 ounces which typically there's 0.30 in this type of product um regardless of the brand and once the inside kind of i hit pan the rest kind of just crumbled and fell apart so that part stinks because of that. I'm not going to 
run out and buy it. But it is an 8 on my scale. I love it. It is worth checking out. Might pick it up in the future. But again, not something I just feel like I have to repurchase. Okay, here we go. Tinted Moisturizer by Laura Mercier. I finished this in a project pan. This is an 8 on my scale. Love it, love it. It just makes my skin look flawless. It's easy to use with a beauty blender or a brush or my fingers. There's just no wrong way to use it. It is in the color Nude. Um, I would repurchase this in the future as well. Alright, let's talk about some mascaras. This is Lancome Grandiose. And then this is the Sils Booster XL Primer. I got this in a 3-pack for the holidays. It was like a door buster. And so I thought, you know what? Basically $10 if you want to count each product as $10 each. It came with the eye makeup remover, which I love. I'm still using it. It's amazing. But these products are not worth the hype. It's like a four in my opinion. I don't even want someone to, you know what? Mm. We're going to take it down to one. I don't even want someone to give me this product. Like this bottle is cute. I really like that. Um, the wand is interesting. It is easy to get in there on each eye, but for $32, like what does it do? My Lash Princess from Essence, a thousand times better. Yeah, a thousand times better. And that's like $4.99. So I was severely disappointed. I felt tortured using it because of the price point. Um, the land, it worked, did work well with the primer by itself. You're not gonna get anything. The primer, I probably could get some more use out of it, but both of these items are over four months old, and I try to stick to the three month old rule, but since it was so much more expensive, I was like, we're gonna ride it out. But I don't want an eye infection, so we wrote it out, we're done. It's not happening again. Here's the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylus Plumper, and mine is in the color light medium. I really did like this. Um, I've only tried three brow gels. I tried the NYX, I tried this one, and then I'm using Essence Make Me Brow, and this one's my favorite out of all of them. <laughs> Oops. This one's my favorite out of all of them, so I will probably, probably go back to it in the future. I like the color. I like that the wand is small, and I like that it has little fibers in it. It's really nice. Lasted a long time. These don't have like expiration, like use up in so many days. So I think I ended up using it for about eight months. So really like that. Sit down. Are you ready? I used up a full soap and glory, a great kisser. Have you guys ever used up a ten of lip or what is it? Lip gloss, lip moisturizer, balm, all of it, all of it. It took me about a year, but I didn't think I would get through it. It's a five. It's okay. It's not great. It's not going to heal anything. It's just a balm, like it says. And I got through it. it. Smells good. Easy to use. Not sanitary in this style, but look at me go. Look at me go. Look at me go. All right. A couple of lip products. We have L'Oreal 601 New Ballet. I love this color and this product. I did use it in a product pan. There is literally nothing left of it. I can't believe I used a lip product up, like actually used it up, but I loved it. It was amazing. Here is Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter and Berry Smoothie. This one sadly died. It died before its time. Uh, if you watched a one of the weekly makeup basket, I forget which one, but anyways, it like broke. I was watching it and it just broke off. So um, I could probably get a little swatch for you. That's what it looked like. Um, really pretty. I love this formula. This is a 7. I would go back and buy it, but I'm not in a hurry. And I'm just trying to use up some other things. But this formula is so easy to use. You can apply it without using a mirror. It's just perfect. Here is... um. The Fireball by NYX. This is their Prismatic Shadow. This actually crumbled and broke, so it is in a different container. And I do want to try to use it up. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've swatched it in a lot of videos, but I'm definitely not going to let the rest of the product go to waste. But this one did break. Um, here is a little sample, Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Absolutely love this. This is a 7. If I had $100, I would go ahead and pick it up, but price points killer but the product I love the smell 
Then last but not least, we have Sunset Junction by Wet n Wild. This was in a project pan. I will link that video down below. Well, the playlist for it. Um, this broke when I was trying to depot it. And so I was using it up and then I mixed it all. And at first I liked the color when I mixed it all and then I didn't. So I just went ahead and got rid of it. It just looked muddy and gross. But I ended up using probably a third to a half of each section. So I'm not mad about that. But that's everything. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned quarter three. It's about three months from now. Hopefully I've gone through this, this many products or more. Like I said before, go out, check out part one if you missed it. But other than that, I will see you on my next video. Bye!